Yo, so welcome back to episode 4 of the 50k funder challenge Episode 3 was pretty interesting, you definitely want to watch that The link will be down in the description below But a cheeky update on what's going on so far is that we are up for about, about 1.5% Something like that, we took a loss in the last episode That really shouldn't have been a loss But, you know, we carry on Today is currently Friday, so it's the last trading day of this week And hopefully we can actually secure a W today if not, then, you know, we'll just carry on as we do. Starting from EuroGBP, actually a quick update is that I removed, if you can see, I removed a few things. So I removed BTC USD just because it rarely brings a setup. So it's kind of not worth even having to look at each time. I also had to remove between GJ and GU. This was a tough decision. I wanted to make the pairs that I trade smaller. So I decided to call all of these kind of have irrelevance because, you know, I'm sort of diversified on this note. But GU and GJ are pretty similar. So I had to remove one of them. And I decided to remove GU. So nothing much on EuroGBP as of yet. Uh, if we're looking at USD Swiss, nothing much either on USD Swiss for now. So gj uh gj is currently dumping you know what if gj does return back to this point then we might have a setup so cheeky 15 minute setup is what this is if it closes above there and then i'll probably reduce it though so i'll be looking to enter from like here right yeah this is what i prefer so if gj if gold does come down here i'm just going to send a lot here then this is what i'm looking for and nas uh yeah so we do have a cheeky play that could work out on nas nas i'm taking sales because you can see that they're forming a bunch of lower lows as well so here's the supply zone if nas does return to this point then i'm taking it and i'm gonna set a second alert so once the trade does get here i'm gonna send that to the mentorship group so those are kind of the setups and play if any of the alerts goes off then i'll let you guys know currently gj is about to play out I've sent this into the mentorship group as well. It's currently pumping down and this should close in the next five minutes. So I'm just waiting for my break of candle before entering. We have a setup on GJ and we have a setup on Nas as well. I do want to take both because I do feel like both of them are a shout. But now I'll keep our focus on GJ and I'll see if I can get an entry on Nas. We've learned a lesson from the last time. So whatever happens on TradingView is what I'm doing. So if TradingView hits TP, I'm going to be out of this trade. I'll just enter, I think. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay. So, this is sort of what I'm looking for right now. Entry was precise, very, very clean. But of course, commissions at the end is going to be a pain in the ass. But yeah, this is sort of the trade. Um, if this trade wins, I believe this is a just slightly over a one to one. It's going to check on what the NAS trade is doing as well. See if I can get some kind of entry on that. So, for the NAS trade, here's what we're looking at. This is what I've got on NAS. We just need some sort of break of candle for this. So, I'll let GJ do its thing. See if we can get some kind of entry on NAS. I'll keep an eye on NAS on my iPad. Okay, so got a good push to the downside now for sure. Um, hopefully we can get a quick win. This is definitely the fastest so far this week that we've found a setup. So far this week has been hella slow. But right now I've only been on the charts for 30 minutes and we've found a setup already. Now this trade is simply just bread and butter setup. So we literally, like, if it loses, it's fine. It's just one of those days then. But if it wins, then again, it's just one of those. Like, this trade should be pretty clean. Should win. Should. Because funny enough, I backed this to GJ literally last night at like 4 a.m. Or this morning, I would say, right? And GJ does have a, you know, GJ wins for me most of the time. And my back to trade was around like 80% for different months consecutively, right? So I'm not expecting GJ to fill me now, right? I'm, I'm, I'm bigging up GJ right now. Big enough hurting, so hopefully she's gonna treat me nice as well. The nice trade is about to become invalid, it's not really holding. Nice, we've got big volume now. So, Juju playing around a little. Um, volume isn't super crazy, it's taking the time. There is news at one. Oh, so we've got volume on Naz. Holy, hold on a minute. All right, so we'll go away around like two minutes, unless we get a break of candle, we'll just keep waiting. Nice, I like this volume. Uh, Naz isn't doing too much still. She's still pumping up at the moment. So Naz becoming valid. 
so I'm not taking that anymore. USD Swiss, did I not set an alert for this? Yeah, so we do actually have USD Swiss that should have played out, technically even gave an entry actually. Those should be okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm probably going to enter this USD Swiss trade actually. This rejection is not the one, so maybe I'll just stay away. Good afternoon. My name's David. I'm calling from Mercedes Benz head office. Hey, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, Mr. Brown, thank you. Um, and just to let you know, we call all calls of quality and training purposes. Is now a convenient time for you to talk? Uh, are you able to call in about two hours, if possible? Yeah, of course I can. I'm not going to talk, so I'll call back in about uh, three o'clock, shall I? Yeah, yeah, thank you. No problem. I'll speak right. to you then. Take care, thank right, you. Right. So I think this trade's going to lose, bro. This is, just, this is playing around my, my stop loss. It's crazy. But we've tap, tapped into the zone again, so I'm hoping it's just one of those that is just retesting the zone. Hopefully the zone holds. But I'm, I'm happy with the spreads, this is what I mean, because on other brokers right now, if it's here, I probably would have been stopped out already. So USD Swiss is actually winning, surprisingly. Um, that's interesting though. So we can still take it. I think while I'll do, all right, this is one of those, a lot is going on sort of situation. As you can see, USD Swiss is currently winning now so what i'll do is just put i think is it doing the same thing gj is doing or am i bugging what i'll do i'll just play it smart i'm not going to enter this trade i'm just going to leave it and just let let gj do his thing because right now it wouldn't be wise to lose two usd source is pretty much climbing back up again as you can see um like the volume is still super super clean so i'm just going to have faith in gj gj is not looking nice right now man Yeah, GJ is not looking like it. Yeah, so GJ lost. That's tough. Okay, so I think I'm going to enter this trade. Okay, I'm in. I'm in this trade. Um, it's going to move this to a quick one-to-one, -one, which is around there. But I might try to make up for that loss, you know. I'm going to remove my TBs for now. Just going to do a quick analysis and trading view. Let me just see, can I get more from this? Uh, so this isn't really a high time frame setup. We do have gaps up top. So at least here, so for that reason, we might be able to get like a one to two. This hasn't been pushing up for too, too long either. So I think we do have some more room to go up for sure. Yeah, I'm going to try to push one to two to make up for the loss that we just took, right? Funny enough, at least you could have got a better entry and this could have entered like here when it moved down, but we played it smart anyway. So hopefully we can grab a one or two on this, but I'll, I'll have to pay very close attention to this because this can obviously go back up go against us at any point it's one of those ones where you have to act super quick incredibly quick we would have missed this trade otherwise i'm gonna set an alert to where the one to two is so the moment i hear that alert i'm out i don't care what's going on on here i'm just gonna close i'm liking the volume right now hopefully we can break this high if we break this high it might be good we already made our one to one already in 10 minutes in fact even less than that right we've got our one to one already to make up for the gj loss so I could close here and be break even, but nah, I feel like this can push up a bit more. This rejection is normal. Obviously, liquidity is sitting up here, so it's it's to be expected. That's crazy that GJ lost. Though. I was bigging up GJ's thing, you know. GJ did me like that. Let me just see what GJ is doing right now. Yeah, so GJ became invalid. That's fair. I have to be super careful on this trade because there is liquidity down here. Right, plus there's another zone right here as well. There's another demand zone right here. So they could just want to come back here and continue pushing up. volume looks good so far if we close above this and then we come back down again right to this zone because this isn't those this would be another demand zone i might just enter another position but that's if that all, all happens if that plays out that way i have a feeling they, they might want to come down after this candle though to fill the gap i just have that feeling right <laughs> literally so close Two, 200 more 200 more come on i don't want this to push down now just keep going up give my money then you can do whatever it wants we're almost at 1k come on we hit it we've hit it we've hit it we've hit it come on wait haven't i heard the tp on this though uh wait what okay i'm just gonna close bro i'm not gonna play around my money i'm out i'm out i'm out for some reason it's frozen on my screen. Hold on, let's just check. Yeah, look. It's frozen, bro. <laughs> what? 
yeah we grabbed our one to two on this so my analysis was correct and you can see as soon as they tapped into the supply zone now it's rejecting so currently this is the update on the week so we took obviously the first initial trades just to reach the minimum trading days we won on tuesday we won on wednesday we lost on thursday unfortunately one that we shouldn't have lost and on friday which is today we took another dub so thank you guys for watching if you found any value be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you do want to join the academy then be sure to check the link down in the description thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace